Hi friends, hi YouTube. If you are new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I love fun, bright, colorful makeup. I would love to have you subscribe if you haven't already, but if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. I enjoyed our small bit of time together. Uh, today I did a collab with the ever so gorgeous and beautiful and stunning Garla here on YouTube. I will have her YouTube linked down below and her video, just an FYI. Um, she's just so amazing and so kind and so sweet and we wanted to do a collab. So we did a palette bingo. We did it with the ColourPop Play Jewel Palette, which looks like this. It's so stunning, it's so gorgeous, just like her. Uh, so make sure you go check out her video, check her out, do all that good stuff, say hi for me. But if you would like to see how I got this look, then uh, Let's get into it. Hi. I have um, a weird hot chocolate. I think I remember if it was like Irish something cheesecake, Irish cream cheesecake. I don't know. But it's a hot chocolate. It smells pretty good. I know that it's still pretty toasty. Um, but last night I made a apple cider and then a hot chocolate and that thing exploded out of the machine. So that's cool. We're doing a, a palette bingo with the Play It Jewel palette by ColourPop, which looks like this. I'm pretty sure this is my first time ever actually like using this. Um, so there's that. I got this in a ColourPop uh, mystery box. So... That was like a long ass time ago too, my goodness. So there are 30 shades in this palette. We're gonna plop that into our handy little uh, random number generator here. I'm, I don't know how many shades she chose. I usually do like five or six. So we'll do five to start with. And if I feel like it, I'll do six, maybe stop. I don't know, we'll see. So let's go number 20. Eight. 28 is this shade right here called Surreal. Next is 12. That is that shade right there called So Polished. I'm also really happy with the decision of me wearing my glasses so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, number three. 24 that is that shade right there called relic number four five that is that shade right there called reflect on holy tits do we have lots of shimmers okay one more for five 30 that is that shade right there called finest um, I am going to just do one more just in case, just to see if there is something that I would maybe want to swap out, swap in, you know, just to see. So we'll see. 26. 26 is that color right there called Wave Like. I'm thinking I just want to, I'm going to use all six because why not? I'm going to swatch these. Okay, so this is the color story right here. I did put the blue over here just to see. You know, I might want to do it, I might not, but I'm really loving these tones right here. I think this is so gorgeous. This is so stunning. I think it'll be really pretty. I think this is going to be like super pretty. I, again, don't know if I'm going to be adding the blue in, but you know, that one was just there if I needed it. And I don't think that I'm going to need it. So let's get in with this. As always, all the products that I use and or you see in this video will be linked down below. They're not affiliate links. Yeah. And as always, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the REM Beauty Concealer in Fair 2N. And then setting it with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder. We'll start with Surreal here um, on a... <laughs> Refer 14 and going to be plopping that into the crease area right here. I'm going to be blending it upwards. I'm going to be putting that finest shade here. Um, I wish some of these shimmers were matte. <laughs> that would make my life a tad bit easier because I had an idea, but... We work with what we got. 
I'm going to be going in with that shade right there called Finest on a wrapper 13 and popping that into this crease area right here. Um, I am going to go back in with that wrapper 14 and drag the shadow down here because I forgot to. We're on a roll, okay? I just, we're on a roll. Now I'm going to be going in with that Refer 13 with that finest shade and popping that into right here. And start of dragging it forward a little bit here. And dragging it onto the purple here. You know what? I just realized I haven't tried this hot chocolate. Let's do this. I'm also kind of scared. That's not bad. That's actually really good. I had an M&M's one last night. Okay, so I'm thinking... I can't decide either this gold or this orange for back here. I think maybe the orange, which I'm pretty sure was that shade right there called Relic. I'm, like, looking at this palette, and I'm like, this is so... Look at this. This is such a stunning color story, and my bitch ass has not used this enough. Like, I can see things with, like, this nasty yellow and, like, here, so I'm gonna have to pull this out again. It's been on my list to do so much, but I don't know. But I'm gonna be taking that Relic shade on a Refer 21 and plopping that out here. Okay. And now I think going in with that So Polish shade right there. I kind of wish I got that one. That one's yummy. Like, look at that. That is, that's stunning. But I'm going to be going in with that So Polish shade still on that Refer 21 after I cleaned it off. And popping that into the middle portion of the eye. I love that the Bingo Gods gave me color. I was expecting a more neutralish um color story for some odd reason. Just because anytime that I've done a color pop bingo, it has gone in the very much neutral space. Um, I'm going to go in with that Reflect On shade now. That one right there. And I think I've used all of my shades. Except for the blue, but that was just a in case of emergency type one. But I'm going to be popping that Reflect On shade here into the inner corner. So that is pretty much the groundwork. I'm going to go in with my Refer 15 and just sort of diffuse everything in a sense that makes sense i'm not gonna lie i'm starting like i already know that i'm getting sick but i'm like fevering right now i'm pretty sure so that's cool so i did end up trying to put a little bit of the purple uh surreal shade down here but i didn't like how it looks i think i'm just going to keep this up here maybe put a little bit of shimmer down here at the end but i'm gonna go do my face i'll come back for maybe blush maybe highlight i don't know we'll see i'll be back all right all right so for blush obviously the blend bunny juicy cheese palette i'm sort of leaning towards like this mouth watering shade right here i don't know I think uh, Pulp, sick, Sticky Sweet, and Ripe are the only ones that I have not used yet, other than this mouthwatering, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was the right move. Okay, so obviously for highlight, not loose, and if you've been here, you know. 
you know. Um, maybe the pink with a little bit of the gold. I don't know. So that is a Phenomena and Enlightened. So we're going to start with Phenomena. The one that has a pan in it because I may or may have not went a little bit too hard in it this summer. Um, but it turns out if you put pink highlighter all over your boobies, you get free drinks. So. Well, I always get free drinks because I'm pretty and... <laughs> I don't think I've paid for my own drink in a very long time. Um. Fun fact. <laughs> okay, are we thinking we do an under eye here? Oh no. I think because I am an addict and I didn't put any freaking shimmer on. Literally, my last eye look was a all matte look. So, I feel like I need to fill that deep, dark hole in my heart that did not get filled last time. Uh, but I'm going to go in still with a little bit, I think, of the Enlighten and plop that into the inner corner here. If I can find the brush I was using, I'm all that far here. I know this is cheating, but like, a girl needs her sparkle. I did an all matte look last time. No shimmer. I didn't even put this palette near the eyes. And I think that took a lot, okay? Because I'm somebody who puts this near my eyes all the time. Because I need the dramaticness of it. So there's that. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. For lip, I think I'm going to do a mix of this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in uh, Sandstorm. And this Unearthly Cosmetics. I think this is like a satin cream lipstick. And a Dreamy. This is from their Valentine's Day collection. Um, I'm pretty sure it's only available on Mercari. I don't know. So this is, my God, this is the final completed look. I think it is super gorgeous. I love the colors. Um, Do I wish I maybe put the blue in? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. But either way, I'm really liking how this turned out. I think it's super pretty. I did like it before I did add the blend bunny and actually loose and highlight palette onto my eyes, but as someone who is an, but as someone who is an addict to sparkle, um, and highlighter, uh, I had to do it. Okay, I had to fill that urge, and I did it, and it looks awesome. So that's all that matters. <laughs> Remember to go check out Carla's channel. Give her some love. Go check out all her videos, all that fun stuff. But if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I truly, duly appreciate it. Um, a couple things before you go. Remember to not be a piece of shit. Don't be homophobic. Don't be transphobic. Don't be racist. There's so many better things to be doing with your time, your money, your energy. Um, I know that you maybe don't like it. Maybe you don't understand it. Uh, but that's something that you need to sit with and reflect on and do better just saying uh and remember to take care of you remember to take in enough water to eat enough to take care of yourself don't be such a people pleaser people pleasers are losers and we are not losers on this channel we are amazing stunning breathtaking caring kind people okay okay uh and remember to take in the best information that you can there's a lot of bull a lot of propaganda going on so remember taking so remember to take in the right stuff the right information okay um again if you made it to this point in the video thank you so much for watching and remember to do good be good take care drink enough water and i can't wait to see your face next time